Hello dear audience, welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news bites locally, regionally and internationally. With today's news analysis, I am Miriam Gitatro, stay with us. Migration, the critical issue hampering African growth. Or migration, the overlooked issue holding back African growth. On November 21, 2022, the European Commission set out a 20-point action plan designed to address surging migration in the central Mediterranean ahead of an emergency meeting of interior ministers. The migration crisis has continuously been featured in the European press. It is a constant topic of politics discussion and discourse in Europe for almost a decade. This year, more than 90,000 immigrants and refugees entered the European Union by the way of central Mediterranean route, a 50% increase from 2020. According to a stats then, the crisis is big in 2015 when Europe saw the arrival of over a million migrants to its border. But since then, the number had significantly declined. In 2022, around 150,000 migrants crossed European border. These figures do not include refugees from Ukraine, which pushed some 7 point two million to flee to the EU since February. Despite an overall drop in the number of migrants coming to Europe, the political conversation about immigration has only gotten more heated. More importantly, discussion of the immigration crisis exclusively pertain to Europe concerns. The underlying issue of the crisis are often overlooked. The true long-term impact of migration on countries of origin like African nations has mostly gone unnoticed. Today's news analysis will examine the long-term effect of migration on countries of origin and the root cause of forcing Africans to migrate. Stay with us. The real victims of migration. Contrary to what politicians would have everyone believe, migrants receiving countries do not suffer the true cost and burden of migration. Countries of the origin bear the true burden of migration. Africa has world's largest share of young migrants. A quarter of Africa's migrant population is under 18 and 60% are aged between 15 and 24. Africa is losing its scientists, engineers, leaders and innovators to Europe and America every year. It's estimated that about 70,000 trained professional migrate from Africa annually. On November 20, BBC published an article entitled The Ethiopian Scientist on the Search for Water on the Moon. The article is the story of Dr. Bahanu Bulcha, a 38 years old former student of Addis Ababa University, who together with his team at NASA is developing to prototype spectrometer that could definitely identify where water reserves are on the moon. While this piece undoubtedly made every Ethiopian in Africa proud, it also raises the question of who will be left to advance the continent in African countries to lose its top minders to the West. According to a recent report by UNICEF, 89 million people do not have access to clean water in Ethiopia. That is more than three quarters of the population. This is in a country that is blessed with 12 reverse bazine with a total annual runoff volume of 122 billion meter cube and a groundwater potential of 2.6 up to 6.5 billion meter cubes. There is no shortage of resources in Africa, but the lack of leaders, thinkers and innovators has become a critical issue for the continent. The root cause of migration. People migrate from two main reasons. The lack of economic opportunity and political stability within their own countries. In a 2019 interview, Giorgia Millen, the current Prime Minister of Italy, brandished a photo of a burkenable child working a mine and said a migration from Africa would stop if countries like France stop the exploitation of the continent's precious resources. She estimated France takes 50% of the wealth of its former colonies. Thanks to this CFA front, even though she got some of her facts wrong, the underlying truth remains Africa is being overthrown, forcing its people to migrate to Europe in search of a better life. In the same year, the Italian deputy prime minister accused France of impoverishing Africa countries. He told reporters, if today we still have people leaving Africa, it's due to several European countries. First of all, France that did not finish colonizing Africa. The European Union should sanction all those countries like France that are impoverishing Africa countries and obligating those people to live. The place for African people is Africa and not at the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea, he added. If we want to steam 
the departure of migrants, let's start addressing this issue. Let's start coping with also within the United Nations, not only at European Union level. Italy has to make itself heard. Most people migrate to avoid conflicts, war and persecution, while others migrate in a search of work, better life standards and education. Migration is a cyclical problem. If countries keep losing their best and brightest, it is highly unlike that the situation within those countries will improve. And if the situation does not improve, then people will migrate out. The only way to address the migration issue permanently is to assist in the development of poor nations to provide better security and opportunities for their people. This was our news analysis for today. Thank you for being with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.